Are you an overthinker? Do you worry about your future constantly? Or do you think about the past and think all of these regrets, these things that you wish you did, you should have said, you could have done? Do you ever just wish you could be content and breathe and be at peace? In this video, I'm going to break down the basics of just how to do that. If you're new here, I'm Sarah, and I help teach people how to find inner happiness through fitness and spirituality. And today, we're going to talk about, ironically, finding true peace even in the most chaotic circumstances in any moment that you deem necessary and appropriate. Every moment can be an experience if you treat it that way. For example, you can see that I'm kind of sitting out here in the grass. It's a really overcast day, but as I was walking out here to set up my camera, I was able to just feel the grass on my bare feet and it just felt so good. And it's just like, you know, typically like rushing, I gotta beat the rain because it's definitely gonna rain. But instead I was just taking in the moment, feeling how good the air felt, how good the grass felt on my feet and it made it an experience for me just walking up to set up this camera. We tend to live more in the future or more in the past, and what that does is steal our moment of happiness, steal our moment of peace. If you find yourself constantly living in the past, I can almost guarantee that you have a lot of regret. And on the flip side, if you're like me, you tend to live very much in the future, which causes so much anxiety and worry. My mom always said to me, even when I was like 12 or 13 years old, that I worried like a 40 year old. When in reality, no matter what age we are, we don't need to be worrying and living in the future. We need to be living now in the present moment. So what if you live for right now? What if you sat down for a meal and instead of scrolling through Facebook or checking your emails or working or talking on the phone, you just sat there and you tasted every spice, every different flavor of the meal you're eating. You're looking at the beautiful colors. If you're with friends or family members or your significant other and you're sitting there and just enjoying being in their presence with everything around you, stopping. It would become an experience of eating a meal. Not a chore, not a, oh, I'm hungry, I guess I have to eat. It becomes something that you enjoy and it brings you to the present moment. You can't have experiences in any other place than in the present moment. If you're living in the past or the future, you're not living the experience in the now, you're focusing on something that's not even, it's not there. It's a waste of time. The deepest, deepest truth I have always lived by ever since I can remember is that everything happens for a reason. I know that sounds so cliche, but it is just so true. That one sentence has brought me more peace than anything else in life, maybe aside of God, but they're very intertwined. <laughs> think about it. Think about all the things in your past that you didn't think you could handle, you didn't think that you could get through, but you did. You're here watching this video, you got through it. And I bet if you look back at one of those instances, you can find one, even if it's a small thing, one positive thing that came out of that or that led you to another thing that was great in the future, even if you couldn't see it in that moment. You see, believing that everything happens for a reason is also inherently believing that everything happens in perfect timing, even if it doesn't feel that way in the moment. And while we're here, don't forget to like this video. You know that even if you're feeling lost or sad or angry, that what's going on in your life right now is supposed to be happening even if you don't understand why. Even if you don't understand why for a few more months or a few more years, one day you will know the why. And so if you can understand right now that while you're going through this uh, turmoil or whatever it is that's, that's 
making you feel down in your life, if you know within your heart it's for a reason and that in the future you'll be able to see that reason, it's going to give you more peace right now. We tend to hyper focus on the negative things that are happening in our lives and either thinking about what could I have done in the past to prevent this or change this or how is this going to affect my future when it's not the going the way that I want it to go. And that leads to the regrets we feel in our past or the worries we feel in our future. I wanna give you a very small example of what happened to me recently. Very small scale type of example, but um, I graduated college a little over six years ago and I built such a wonderful, loving friend group while I was there. And in the last few years, a lot of us have moved away from each other. And even, of, even those of us that live in the same state, we're not necessarily close. And it just so happened that on this particular day, many people that live out of town were in town and planning to get dinner, go out into the city, meet up with more of our friends from college. And I had work the next morning. And where they were gonna be meeting was about two hours from work. And then I had an appointment that was an additional hour away. So we're talking about a three hour gap. And to me, it just logically didn't make sense to be able to meet up with those friends, even though I desperately, desperately wanted to. I wanted to see them. And so what we agreed to was, hey, let's get dinner in the middle, about an hour and a half from where I live. That way they can continue on their trip after dinner. I could go back home, get ready for my appointment for work the next morning and all is well. So that was the plan. And when we got to dinner, it was so wonderful. It was so beautiful being in the presence of all of us together again. And as we were kind of wrapping up dinner and they were getting ready to go to the city and I was getting ready to go home, I just really didn't want to go home. I really wanted to see my friends and, and spend this time with them that I really don't get very often. And they really wanted me to come too. And so what I was doing was I was, I was stuck in worrying about the future even though it was just the next day. Now disclaimer, there's obviously a sense of being responsible and fulfilling your obligations as an adult and a fun functioning person in society. However, if you've been on my channel for a while, you understand that my number one priority for not only myself, but hopefully that I can push to you guys, happiness is all that matters. This is the only thing. It's the only thing that matters is happiness. And in that moment, I decided, so what if I'm tired in the morning for work? So what if it's a long drive? When am I going to get this opportunity again to be with these people? It could be another few years like it was leading up to this. So I went and I had a blast. I saw so many friends that I hadn't seen in so long, especially all in one place, especially as COVID was starting to wind down. Obviously a lot of us didn't even see people that were living very close to us. And it was just so refreshing. It was so beautiful and I remember just sitting there at my friend's apartment and just looking around at all of these people that I hadn't seen in so long and just feeling so at peace and, and feeling so content. And that's because I wasn't worrying about the future the next day like I usually do and I was living in the moment and really taking in the moment of being surrounded by so many people that I love and that love me. So I encourage you to just stop right now or when this video is over or when you get a chance today and look around, listen to the birds and, and the bees. Not in that way. <laughs> Subscribe to this channel. Feel the grass on your feet. Look at the beautiful sky. Pull over on the side of the road when you see a nice sunset and just take it in for a minute. We can become present in the moment at any time we wish to. We can experience the now. And I'll tell you, it's near impossible to be regretting the past or worrying about the future if you're in the moment and you understand that whatever is happening right now, it's supposed to be happening. It's in perfect timing, even if you don't understand why right now. And let that give you peace and allow you to bring more happiness and love 
and contentment within yourself. It's starting to drizzle. <laughs> so I'm gonna get going inside, but I love you guys so much. I hope this video brought you some insights on how you can really be happier and live peaceful and just, ah, just breathe. Just know that everything's gonna work out as it should and it's going to be okay. I love you and don't forget, be limitlessly yourself.